I will openly announce now that Allah has shown us the first major sign towards the day of judgment. Yes, I'm saying Al-Mahdi has appeared, although he has not yet become a current leader, but he has emerged. I will not conceal this matter because it is time for the Muslim Ummah to know. I'm talking about Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim. It should be noted that Qasim has never claimed to be the Imam Mahdi. He is only fulfilling the command of Allah and Prophet Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon him to share the Mubashirat shown to him. Allah commanded him to name it Allah and Muhammad in my dream. This is a title of great magnitude and grandeur if you truly understand it. I urge the entire Muslim Ummah to attentively listen to Qasim. He has brought a portion of the portions of prophethood, Al-Mubashirat, and he carries a warning from Allah. You can see that those dreams have proven to be true. And he carrying a very important message. Allah says that the world has never been filled with as much polytheism as it is today. Allah guides him towards his destiny. Allah will grant him success. He is the awaited Imam whom we have been waiting for. And we will pledge allegiance to him at the time appointed by Allah, inshaAllah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. So first of all, let me clarify something. I'm not here to tarnish anyone's reputation. I am here to talk about what Mufti Mink has recently said in his post, uh, replying to the fake AI video that's, that's been viral in the social media at the moment. Uh, but it's fake, as in like, he's not said anything in that video. It's been AI, it's been generated by the artificial intelligence. And um, that video has gone viral. Um, so first of all, let me clarify something. I really, really, really respect uh, Mushti Bank. Um, so much so that I always and for a very long time I've been watching his video. He's such a nice personality, smooth and calm. But uh, to be very honest, the reply that he have recently made on his Twitter post, I really have three points that I want to counter on whatever he said in his post. So. Um, before I do that, obviously, I have a disclaimer. So I have two disclaimers before I make this video. Um, if, if we dive into the video. So, uh, let me really clarify a few things here. So first of all, so disclaimer number one, English is not my mother tongue. So I'm not born in the UK. I'm not born in any other English speaking language. I was born in Pakistan. I was very little when I moved, right? So my first language is Urdu. So if anything wrong with my language, I really do want to apologize for that first of all, right? And the second thing is I am not a scholar. I'm just a student. I'm not a preacher or anything like that. This is the first time I am talking against what somebody has said not the personality but somebody has said and he's a big 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 personality and i really do respect this guy right disclaimer number two i with Abbas nasir and other brothers of ours we do condemn this video we uh were surprised when we saw this video and we were talking just uh i think before the comment came from mufti meng that the way this is going is actually not good because we are promoting uh truth so we can't back up truth with uh, falsehood, right? So we do condemn this video. So the statement made by Mufti Mang, you may be able to see that on the video, uh, is as when the Mahdi appears, he will not have to create fake videos generated by art artificial intelligence to make his claim. He will not be told via his dreams that he is the Mahdi. He will not be making his appearance or announcements via TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube. The reason viral cl clips on uh, their subject are generated by AI, they are totally baseless and fake. I have three points that I really want to make uh, in reply to this comment made by uh, Mufti Meng. So point number one is, who said that Muhammad Qasim is making any sort of claim that you just said in your post? He did not, right? The second question is, who said that he made this video? He did not. Somebody else, a follower maybe, he made that video and he made it viral. So he's not the one or anyone, the brother I know, made that video. So whoever made that video, I think you should be questioning that person, not Mohammed Qasim. The same way, if you are talking about something and somebody, someone of your follower makes a video and publish it and, and that goes viral, I mean, you've got nothing to do with that video, right? Same way, Mohammed Qasim has nothing to do with the video of yours. Okay, point number two is who told you that Imam Mahdi won't be guided by dreams? Do you have any proof, anything to back up your back up your claim? I don't think so because I am making the claim that Imam Mahdi can be 
guided by dreams because obviously the Nabua is finished so no other angel or no angel Jibro ain't coming down to correct Imam Mehdi or anything Allah will guide Imam Mehdi through dreams and I have sayings of Prophet Muhammad two sayings of Prophet Muhammad and there are so many I just I'm just going to present two to prove my point why Imam Mehdi will be guided by dreams. So I have two claims. I have two sayings of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that I'm going to present to you now. So the first saying is the pious dream is 46th part of prophecy, right? So anybody who's getting dreams, uh, pious dreams, that's the 46th part of um, prophecy. That's that's one of my claim or uh, one of my proofs. Um, the second one is a good a good vision is from Allah and a bad dream is from Satan. This is the saying of Prophet Muhammad again. So point number three is actually point three of your statement that you made that he will not make his appearance or announcements via TikTok, Instagram or YouTube. Um, to that, I have a few questions again. In 2023, how do you think Imam Mehdi or... Uh, anybody else who wants to learn something to the world will, will, will do. Do you think anybody is going to come? Angels going to come down and speak to people? I don't think so. We are living in 2023. We've got this te technology through um, which talking. I, I am talking. I'm using this technology. Why Imam Mehdi can't use this technology? I mean, I don't get it. Also, let me tell you something. You were nothing... And I, I really politely say that it's not a rude comment or anything like that. You were nothing before these videos. These technology that you say Imam Mehdi won't be using, you got your fame from these technologies, from these platforms. So how do you make your appearance or announcement? You make through TikTok, you use YouTube, and I, I don't know if you use Facebook or not, but... You use these two big flat platforms. So, I mean, you are using these platforms to uh, announce anything or to make dawah, right? So, I mean, you are using these platforms. How can Imam Mehdi not be using? What is the possibility and what is your proof of saying that he won't be using these technologies? All I, I This is all I have. And, and really and truly, uh, I'm just leaving. I do believe in Muhammad Qasim's dreams. And um, uh, yes, nobody, if nobody wants to believe him in a way that he is Imam Mehdi, I mean, this is personal opinion of the brothers around. So just to conclude the video, all I'm saying is, let's say Qasim is not Imam Mehdi, but Imam Mehdi is here. Let's say, just to do, right? And this post goes directly pointing at Imam Mehdi. Uh, then how Mufti Meng would clarify what he said? I don't think there is any way of claiming because Muhammad Qasim He's not even, he's not saying anything. It's just somebody else made the video go viral and Mufti Meng saw that. It is absolutely wrong because if it's true, nobody should be backing up by falsehood, as I said already in this video. So all I'm saying is you, Mufti Meng, all you should do is just say, that's not my video. Somebody else made this video and I've got nothing to do with this video. AI generated video is not mine. That's about it. I mean, how can you claim something about a person in that video? Because you should be pointing at the person who made the video, not who is in the video. Mm. I would, I would personally, very humbly, my brother Mufti Meng would ask you to go and look at this guy, um, look at what he is saying, and then go from there. Don't just make the claim for the sake of making a claim, just to deny something. You should deny what's wrong, but you shouldn't make claims about people just for the sake of making or to deny something. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi